Hello friends. Welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to make page tier animation in After Effects. So let's have a look. So let's start. Create a new composition. Name it as image. First, let's import our image file. Ok here I have imported two image files. Now let's add image one to the timeline. If your image is large then you can scale it. Now let's create another composition. Name it as page tier shape. Now we need to create a solid layer. Let's do it. Now we need to draw the mask over the solid layer. Just draw the mask as I have shown. Here I will draw mask like the waves formed by flowing water. It doesn't look like waves but for demonstration it is fine. Here you can also draw any shape you want. At the end of the tutorial, I will show you how to do that. Now let's create another composition. Name it as still. Let's add our image composition to the timeline. In effects and preset search for fill. Add it to image composition. Change color to white. Now let's add the page tier composition. Search for turbulent display. Add it to page tier layer. Change the size value to 10. And complexity to 10. For image composition, change the track mat to alpha inverted mat. Now again add the image composition, and page tier composition. Search for simple choker. Add it to page tier composition. Change choke mat value to minus 20. Search for turbulent displace. Add it to page tier composition. Change the size and complexity to 10. For image composition. Change the track mat to alpha inverted mat. Here you can see the page deer effect for our image. Here you can see the rough edges are created. Now let's create another composition. Name it as frontier. Add the image composition, and the page tier shape. Search for the simple choker. Add it to page tier composition. Change the choke mat value to minus 50. Search for turbulent displace. Add it to page tier composition. Change the size and complexity to 10. For image. Composition change the track mat to alpha mat. Create another composition. Name it as the final tier. Add the still composition. Search for the drop shadow. Add it to the composition. Change the opacity to 25%. Distance to 5. And softness to 75. Now let's add the frontier composition to the timeline. Search for CC page turn. Add it to the frontier composition. Change the control to classic UI. Now go 2 seconds forward. Change render type to front page. Now create a keyframe for fold position. Press U to view keyframes. Change value to minus 114 for X axis and 964 for Y axis. Now let's go one second forward. 
Let's change the value for x axis to 2279 and 1142 for the y axis. We need to change the direction. Change the direction to 90 degree. And fold radius to 225. Here the direction is positive 90 degree. Here you can see the page tearing effects. Now let's create the duplicate of Frontier Composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create the duplicate. Now change the render to back page. Here you can see the page tearing effects is now visible. Let's change the back opacity to 100. Search for the drop shadow. Add it to the layer. Change the direction to 90 degree. Distance to 75. Let's change the shadow softness. Change the softness to 245. Now let's preview it. Here you can see the page tear animation. Let's create another tear animation. Go at the 4th seconds. Select the still composition. Search for CC page turn. Add it to composition. Change the control to classic UI. Create a keyframe for fold position. Change value to 1903 for X axis and 1077 for Y axis. Go one second forward. Change value to near about minus 747 for X axis and 1099 for Y axis. Here you can see the preview. Change the fold direction to minus 80 degree. You can see the page rolling effect is created. Now let's give it a final touch. Create a new composition. Name it as render. Add the final dear composition. Create a new dark black solid. Draw the mask as shown. Change mode to subtract. Now let's add the second picture to the timeline which we have imported at the beginning. Now let's preview it. Here our page tier animation is ready. As for bonus sticking around all the way to the end you are getting an extra part. In the project you can add your custom shapes or you can add your text. You can use this as your logo reveal intro. Let's have a short look. With shape. With text. As a logo reveal. This is all for this tutorial. If you like this video then leave a thumbs up and your valuable comment and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any query or question feel free to comment below and you can also contact me on any of the social media given in the description. Thank you.